The next thing I'm gonna talk about is an evasion. Now this is typically done only in boxing because there's not a risk of any knee strikes. So by me ducking a hook in, in a Muay Thai competition, I would run the risk of taking a knee strike to my jaw. But I do like throwing uh, a duck in here every now and then because it makes you squat, so it gets your workout in. So you can either duck before the hook or after the hook, right? Very simple. So I just imagine someone's throwing a hook to my face. I want to get under it. I'll face you. I'm basically going to make my nose do a letter U. So I come letter U. See that? And it loads me up to do a hook right after that. I can counter. I could also throw my hook first, boom, and now I'm on this side, and now I can come back here and do my duck. So it doesn't matter when you do the duck. It could happen before, it could happen after. If you prefer to be more of a counter fighter and let them throw an attack, right? I throw an attack, I duck, throw my hook in there, right? Or, right, I might be here, I might throw my hook, and then they want to get me back, I duck. Right? And I stopped here because sometimes in the middle of the duck, you can get a body shot in there and come up with a head shot, right? You can go for the body head, right? So basic thing there, you're just in your split stance, you're ducking, right? You can drill it by going. It's a boxing maneuver only, generally speaking. I haven't really seen it done in Muay Thai. When you get down here, you don't want it to get a knee strike to the face. So that's a little bit of um, evasion with a ducking technique.